Alrighty then, how in the bloody hell are you all? I hope it's extremely well. So, I heard that you've got to use the make for this one, so let's do it. Bitch! Ah! Get off! Get off! Oh, what? Okay, I didn't know you had to run. I thought the Magnum was enough just... Yep. Can we just cut all that cutscene from the last video? He's hoping. What time is it? There we go. Cut that cutscene. That was at the end of the last video. Alright. Oh, no! Oh, I did not want to do... Fuck! <laughs> two deaths in the space of like two minutes. Jesus, man. Alright. So, turn to the left. Alright. I was trying to like make, it, make him go off to the left. Come on. <laughs> Fucking... Damn it. Oh, she's dead. Can I wait for this fire to go away? Or am I trapped now? Nope, it's going away. Awesome! And I'm barely hurt. And <laughs> my gun is empty. Alright. Let's fix that up. It's slowly going away. We'll just wait. Alright. Jesus, man. Alright, so the thing she dropped was right here. Alright, we got the choker. Um, check. Yep. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so since I've got that right here right now, I'm gonna put it up here. Because that's where it goes, apparently. Alright. Yep. Oh, where's it? Mrs. Bosom, it means it's probably around her neck. Just make sure there's nothing else up here that, like, manifested during the cutscene. Oh, that's all fucked. Alright, we can't go that way. Sweet. Alright, so if I've been told correctly, I've also got to put the Magnum away. Because I'll need that later on. Um, what's through those doors? It's locked. Alright. Sweet. Well. Nothing really stays dead for long, does it? Alright, I'm going to go pick me up the, um grenade launcher. Take a couple of grenades with me. Don't have any health at all. Because Claire has it all. Well, the last bit. Like the last full, full while. Double heal. There's my room there. Didn't do the damn duralidium case in the last one. Shit. The last section was clear. Um, that. And maybe the flame or acid rounds. Right, acid. Alright. Take that too, because we can put that back after we're done. I can't believe I didn't do the damn duralidium case, I forgot about it. 
shit. Dude. Didn't chuck a save on, but I think I might be alright. Oh, those things are gone. Okay, sweet. I was expecting one just to pick me up as soon as I stepped out. Uh, is it this way? Yes. Alright, so up this way. What we did in the pre- uh, not the previous video, the video before where I died and I was like, God damn it! Died twice in one video. I think I've broken that um, that limit now. All right. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. That was an accident. I didn't mean to press that. left that last heal for Chris, but I'm sure there's more health coming up soon. Ow. God damn it, sorry. Just, uh, hit my microphone. I'm trying to rub my nose. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, if you'd like to live with your ear, please do. Um, We'd like to rank 1 out of 5 how your death was from Chris. Uh, we think it was probably good, but you know, we just want to know, make sure you know, that our service was efficient enough to have uh, annihilated you. Thank you for that, you stupid thing. <laughs> Alright. So, I think it's through here now the ice room. Ice, ice, baby. Okay. Really don't like those giant spiders, they're really irritating. Wait a sec. They put the black bars on the cinematic. Have done this? We have to fight this guy or what? Ha hang on. How the hell did he get here from being on the roof and dying? Go on the roof. No one wants you here. <coughs> Fuck! I didn't even do anything yet. About to now. <coughs> oh, what? I never even had a chance. I. Am I gonna have to, yeah. What does it pick up from? Please don't tell me the fight with Alexia. Oh, bloody hell. See you in a bit. Alright, so it's been about a day or two since I was recorded. I haven't put it up an upload for the sat day over here because uh, just things got out of control. I'll explain a bit later. Alright, so. <laughs> Alright, just kind of run away from this bitch. Although he's keeping up pretty well. 
Get it. Alright. Oh. Yeah, we'll never have to come back here again. Go. Alright. So, yeah, um, on Friday, uh, we went to go see our house. It looks amazing. Um, there's a couple of small cosmetic things that are the issue. That's stuff that's going to be dealt with before we uh, move in there, hopefully in the next what, week in a bit. So it's not this week coming, it's the following week that we move. Uh, it's going to be fun, so I've got to like, dismantle everything I've got here. Um, unfortunately, my gaming shed won't be fully ready yet, because I've got to get the trench dug for the power and the Ethernet cable to supply me with power and internet. And um, then I've got to install uh, wood paneling on my walls and roof with insulation behind that, because it's just a big metal box outside. Um, in the Australian heat, pretty much. So I'm gonna insulate it, put the wood paneling up. I read somewhere online if you've got walls that have like small holes in it, you can, um, what do you call it? Use that to uh, dampen and sound and all that. So we've done, I'm gonna deal with that. Uh, what am I doing here? No, that's not what I'm doing. Um, right, so, uh, check. Okay, alright, so we've got that now. The other red one is already in the wall. Alright, so I'm just quickly checking something on the walkthrough. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're gonna put those in the wall and see what the deal is with that. I haven't chucked a save on yet, so hopefully I don't bloody well die. After I died from that spider in the last section of the video, Actually, um, I can't count this one, Toby. Um, I actually just went, did the um, Alexia fight again, did what I had to do to get back to that point in the safe room before um, the spider encounter. So that's about it. That's all I did off camera. Alright, so. Oh, God. Look, I'm going to say it's not a bad game. I wouldn't put it on the par level of. Resident Evil 2 or 3 for uh, story or anything else like that. Uh, well, not uh, story, no. Gameplay, I would say. Game gameplay elements and whatnot. I would not put it on par with them. I did that by accident. And, um, look, I could see this needing a remake. Maybe a, a fixing of the um, certain control and possible gameplay elements. Yes. Uh, I just wouldn't say it, like, Resident Evil 4, to me, it still held up. I don't think technically it needed an, an, a remake, but because it was Capcom's most successful Resident Evil game to that point, um, they, uh, they were like, oh, we can milk this cow for all it's worth. Let's port it to every potential console or, um, other thing, and then we'll, you know, we'll milk it again when we remake it. How many more are there? Whoop! Oh, another one. There we go. Headshots all around, bitches. Alright, uh, what is in this area? I'm just trying to see. Is that something got down here he's looking at? Zombie, I think. Is that a herb? Nope. God. I ain't. Ooh, is that a hallway there? Oh, it is. Wow. Oh, herbs, herbs, herbs. Yep. Um, so, I'm thinking about it. I might do until dawn um, next after this I'm going to uh, hold off on Resident Evil 4 a little bit before I um, tackle that one the remake for, for it actually I picked up today I was at a 
what do you call it? Um, oh god. Uh, um, uh, I wouldn't say a fair or a market, but it was something to that effect. And um, I found me Dead Space 3 uh, for X Xbox 360, so I got that. Uh, okay. Thought I saw something shining there. Alright, anything? No? What's this? No, don't turn that way. Music box is closed. The blue sapphire has been removed. No. Alright, so there's nothing in here then for me at the moment. Alright, we'll go the other way. So, yeah, um, I picked up a uh, X oh, God damn it. Dead Space 3 for Xbox 360. Uh, apparently it's on the list of uh, compatible games for the Series X, which is good. Um, although, strangely enough, the game comes on two discs. Uh, I don't know why that is. I looked into it. Apparently the game is split into two halves. Oh, safe room. Oh, nice. Um, the game is split into two halves. So, um... Ah, uh, still room key, okay. What's this? Portrait of a beautiful woman, the master of the Ashford family, Veronica. I wonder if Veronica had anything to do with, um, what's her face in Resident Evil 7 and 8. Nothing there. Okay, we can come back for the ink rooms later, I guess. Let's see what that other room is. I think it's a recreation of the bedrooms from the uh, island with the mansion. Because the layout is very similar, although this is... Uh, is that a door there? The hell? Didn't even notice that. Uh, Co Veronica reports. Okay, uh, after many long years of research, I finally identified the inheritance element that administers the intelligence of man. That was a mouthful. I even succeeded in manipulating the absolute value of intelligence artificially by recomposing the base alignment of the element. Uh, I then sampled the gene of our great ancestor, manipulated its element, then imprinted, sorry, implanted it into the unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. What I didn't expect was twins. A boy and a girl were born. The boy had higher intelligence than normal, but not high enough for him to be considered a genius. However, the girl had unmatched intelligence that easily allowed her to be classified as a genius. She was exactly what, uh, what I have been looking for, the revival of our great ancestor. I already determined their names. The girl's name is Alexia and the boys will be Alfred. I, sorry, I'm certain that Alexia will elevate the name of the Ashford family to extreme glory, Alexander Ashford. So, um, they're basically test tube babies. More herbs. Should I get them? Might do. Let's just see what's over here first. Anything? Nope. So, yeah, look. I'm gonna say I have been enjoying this game. It's not like it's a bad game. Uh, there are some frustrating trolling elements and whatnot in the game, sure. Um, I'll say that hands down, no problem. But, um... I gotta say, um, it could do with a remake. Like, people say, oh, Resident Evil 4, you can't um, aim and, and shoot at this. Like, what? Well, sorry, you can't move and shoot at the same time. Well, that was like the, um, the crux of it. That was the thing that made it that little bit more difficult. Alright, so I can go through that way. Okay, I don't think I want to go this way yet. Because we didn't check out that other room. I just saw this door and I was like, hey, look, a room. Alright. Maybe there's an item box item box in the other room. Alright, so this way. Alright, 
so there's a door there. Is there a hallway here? It's, um, wait a minute. Isn't this the way I just came? No, it's not. Wait, did that say save point? Purple. Save point. So hang on, have I been this side or not? Uh, no, guess not. No, I have. I have. It's the other side I haven't been to. Uh, okay. Is there anything along in here? If the room isn't lit up, then it's like locked from the other side. Oh, really? Okay. Alright. So, Blue Jewel. Well, I saw in the walkthrough there's a thing I gotta do. I gotta take the jewels out of the eye of the tiger. Eye of the tiger! No, I don't do that. So, I think this is unlocked now. Oh! Okay. Go on. Alright, we'll stay out of there for now, I think. What does it show what the room looks like? Uh. Kinda. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Does that lead me back to where I was? Hang on. Look at the map. Oh, it does. It's a quicker way. Oh, that's clever. So, yeah. Um, there was just like minor things. Oh, it is. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I didn't have to go all that way then. Awesome. Um, although. Although, although, although. Hang on. Um. To that power room where the thing is. Hang on. You'll turn the power off, otherwise, the um, statue moves and you can't get to the other eye. So, uh, yeah, it's it's great that our house is like on the verge of being done. Uh, power room. Um, the only thing we're going to worry about now in the next what, few months is uh, getting some landscaping and putting some grass down. Uh, maybe even a um, garden bed or two for some like, herbs and stuff my wife wants to grow. Alright. So I guess we can leave that off for the moment, but we probably would need it soon. Again, because it's quite dark. Alright, so let's get rid of... I don't want to get rid of anything. Yeah, screw it. Keep everything. We got rid of the key, that's fine. Alright. Alright, so go back the other way. Actually, it's not so washed out now in this area. Actually, it looks a lot better with the dark. It's locked. I should open. Oh, alright, I've got to go the other way. Well, shit, the shingle. That's no, fine. Let's just go around the longer way or whatever. But, um, look, I'm not going to say I haven't had fun playing this game. It's been quite enjoyable. Uh, that's the elevator when I go with that way. It's all quiet out here now. Hang on, wait a minute. What about over here? Maybe over here? No, okay. Don't fall in the water, Chris. I thought maybe like that would water would go away or something and something would happen. Oh, the 
carousel is what that noise was too. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I'll chuck... Let's let this run a little bit longer for a minute. I haven't done a save yet, but that's completely fine. I'll get the eyes out of the tiger, and then I'll um, go put the blue one in. Wow, it does make a difference in the lighting, doesn't it? So we can't go that way. I guess I don't have to get the power back on, but I want my magnum, I think. So, look, what I'll do is I'll go back, I'll drop off the handgun, uh, maybe the ammo, and I'll do a save, and then we'll get the magnum, and we'll be back where we're going to put the tiger in, high in. So, have a good day with you. Stay cool, stay chill, stay safe, be awesome. Thank you for listening to me rambling. Uh, for those who keep watching and commenting, you guys are awesome, and I will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.